Dear mainstream media reporter who wasted my time. <laughs> Ann Coulter writes, I've been finishing my next book and only able to catch bits and pieces of the news this month, but from the mainstream media, I'm pretty sure the conservative movement is now being led by either, uh, unfortunately, it got cut off, um, but this is in response to some questions that a reporter emailed to you, and you emailed back answers and never got printed, but you went ahead and printed the answers Right, on, I was speaking your to GoProud, and there was a lot of... What is GoProud? Um, a conservative gay group, and the real conservatives, unlike log cabin Republicans. Um, and there was a lot of sturm and drong about my speaking to this conservative gay group. And so I gather the Republican Party is being led by, I know one was Go Proud, and it was somebody else who was in the news obsessively that, that week, but it was one of those very contemporary references, a daily reference. Um, and I went through and, and gave my answers to the questions that were asked, but they do this, they do this all the time. <laughs> um, just a, a couple of answers I just want to read and uh, maybe have you expound on. Have you ever uh, spoken to an LGBT, lesbian, gay, bi, transgender group or attended an LB, LGBT event before? Yes, I call them Ann Coulter book signings, is one of your answers. Another is, why attend and speak at a homocon? Why lie? I'm in the market for a new hairstylist. You write, and then you go on to refer to yourself as the right-wing Judy Garland. <laughs> well, it's true. I mean, I've sort of reflected backwards and tried to figure out why it is. I didn't, I didn't expect that all right-wing girls would be good-looking, but I've just noticed that it's true. I didn't expect that so many gays would be huge fans of mine, and yet it's true. And then having noticed that, then I sort of logic backwards, why would that be? And why would it be? Well, if you're born gay, why would you be a liberal? Are you born liberal? Um, and gays are a demographic group that have one of the highest incomes in America. Um, they are victims of crimes. Uh, the Muslims don't think too highly of them. <laughs> so, you know, basically the entire Republican platform is fighting the same causes any sane gay person should care about, and the entire Democratic platform is sucking up to soccer moms and women who want abortions. What do you care about? that for a gay person. Abortion isn't at the top of your list, I'm guessing. And by the way, as soon as liberals find a gay gene, guess who's gonna get, get aborted? Um, so I think all, all gays who are born gay are overwhelmingly conservative, maybe, maybe apolitical. And all those angry gays causing trouble for everybody, I don't even think they were born gay. I think they just, they're angry at their fathers. Why are you against gay marriage? I talked them out of it, by the way, at that meeting when I spoke to Go Proud. They used to have a position in favor of gay marriage, but they were just doing it because they, they, they don't care about marriage. Gays talk about gay marriage because they think it will prove we like them. And so I just tell them, we like you. <laughs> we just don't like gay marriage. And, and as many of the callers mentioned today, I mean, marriage is the linchpin of civilization. It has nothing to do with gays. Um, it has to do with, yes, giving special benefits to mommy and daddy getting married before becoming mommy and daddy and staying married. And every possible incentive should go into that. Um, instead, you have every possible incentive operating the other way. Uh, subsidies for women to have children out of wedlock and, oh, so many celebrations of the single mother. And the girls do it on their own now. Well, no, they aren't. We are paying for these single mothers. And with, I mean, I... I, I I do sort of feel sorry for gays to be coming to the sexual liberation window 30 years late saying, can we have our peace too? And the world explodes. But, you know, speaking as a conservative Christian, we didn't like that other stuff either. So, yes, it seems like we're finally exploding on, on this one issue, but it doesn't have anything to do with being anti-gay. It has to do with being very pro marriage classic, as we call it, like new Coke and Coke classic, <laughs> marriage classic. <laughs>